So the camera I'm using is called a Pixie Cam and it is a object tracking camera and you can program different colors for it to track and it outputs up to 50 frames per second data to a microcontroller or a similar device. And I'm going to be using this for my Delta robot and so I made this little, this is called the effector which is essentially the hand of the Delta robot and so with this I'll be able to change different suction cups and this is the hose for the, the attachment for the hose there and I uh, put this little ring light snapped in pretty nicely so you saw that it was tracking this red chip here but you can program it to pretty much track any color so here I have it programmed to track this yellow I'm not going to use the pan and tilt this little mechanism here is just the there's a pan and tilt me uh, mechanism kit that you can buy and I'll put a link in the description for that so I figured it'd be a nice way to just kind of test and demo the sensor so here you can see let me zoom in here on the screen so you can see that it it's putting a white box around the yellow because I told it to track yellow and it does so pretty quickly and they claim 50 frames per second so I've looked at other types of similar cameras like this I saw OpenMV and a couple others but I don't think any of the others have 50 frames per second tracking speed. Now I think OpenMV is pretty good if you want facial track, like facial tracking features, but that's not what I want. So the Delta Robot, I just want it to be quick and picking colors and objects and sizes. So you see that it draws a rectangle around the yellow. So not only is it detecting the, you know, where the shape is, but it's detecting the actual shape. Is it a square? Is it a rectangle? And so on. So I think this will work pretty well for what I plan on using it for. So it'll end up going on the Delta robot. So you can see I've already started messing with carbon fiber. Yeah, so I've got carbon fiber already cut to length for the robot arms so but yeah so I hope you liked the video if you did go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and uh, see you next time